Hi, and welcome to Averaz Around the House. Uh, this episode, we're going to be covering parts five and six of the Garage Makeover series, and it's going to be uh, covering uh, this build out, which has uh, uh, holds the refrigerator and the freezer. And then I'm going to cover a little bit of this section here and this uh, area of cabinets here as well, which is very similar to the other side. But um, glad you could join us, and uh, let's get into some of the detail of this build. On this uh, particular build, um, I, I really wanted to be able to close in the area of the refrigerator and freezer. And I did not want the freezer to show because it didn't go along with the color scheme of uh, the garage. And it just so happened that when we bought the house, this was uh, the refrigerator that was in the house. And so I was able to bring that out. So I, I knew uh, that it would be uh, part of this garage. Uh, but I didn't want it just to be another garage refrigerator that uh, was not connected, you know, with ice and water. Uh, so I wanted to make sure we connected all of that as well. So that was a part of uh, the concept of putting it here because right below this is um, our basement and has the water line right there accessible uh, right when I go right through the wall and downstairs. So, uh, so that was uh, part of the decision on placing it on this side. And, uh, and then, uh, of course, the, uh, the door, which is another sliding door, just like the other one over on the other side. And, um, and so that allows me to get to the freezer and also a little bit of storage back here as well, which I'll get into a little bit more detail. The, uh, just like on the other side, uh, this is, uh, birch plywood and uh, I did that all the way around the garage and so I just continued in the same fashion with the diamond plate uh, and then the LED lighting uh, as well. I did put some LED lighting back in, in here as well so that it would light up this area and it's the same kind of, same kind of lighting that we used around the perimeter uh, and I'll put a link to uh, those items in the description below which will uh, uh, give you some more detail on some of the items that's a part of this, uh, this, this section of the garage. So over on this side, uh, one of the items I wanted to mention was the fact that uh, these runners here, these are actually step, uh, are made for steps, but I, I put uh, three of them together and then two of them for that step and then one to kind of level out the top there as well. This is Lucky, by the way. Say hi, Lucky. Can you say hi? And then, of course, uh, complete, uh, make sure that the wraparound of the diamond plate goes on in. And uh, then these, uh, these right here, gas station lantern-like 
fixtures. Uh, I actually built uh, this upright out of PVC and then some plumbing parts and connected those. And then on this side we did the exact same thing. And so that lighting just goes in so that I can turn everything off uh, with the smart lighting as well. So, um, and then of course, uh, uh, this sh these shelves here just serve for some decor. And then the same here. This here is aluminum uh, corner and just kind of give it a little bit of, of a finished look that matched the diamond plate, which, uh, which I like. So uh, we just went ahead and, and put those on the corners. And then a little hook here to hold uh, the jacket and the trigger case. Of course, uh, over here, just like on the other side, this is a uh, piece of plywood, just like on the other side and uh, that supports all this weight of uh, these containers and utilize this back corner for a cooler that I don't use that often. And then over here on the back side, I also do use this back side for storage. So I put, uh, I believe I've got some, some lawn chairs and things like that back there. So try to use all that space as much as possible. It was a, a pretty tight fit. Of course, I kind of built it around these items, so I had to come out uh, originally. All of this, all of this was determined by the size of this refrigerator, so that I could uh, get this in here and then be able to do the sliding door. And uh, of course, we have this, the ice and the, and the water there, um, and that. Uh, is all connected uh, through the basement. Now, one thing I did do a little differently here is I built I built these on um, I built these on uh, platforms uh, or dollies uh, with uh, with this little front cover piece here. So I'll just take that off. Or some shoes underneath there. But you see the uh, the locking casters there and. Uh, so I just can unlock those and this just slides right out or rolls right out which is really nice uh, to be able to get behind there if I need to clean uh, sweep from time to time and uh, also if I need to check any connections that type of thing so let's just connect with some with velcro hard velcro and this is just another one of those runners that I just put under there and just kind of gives this a little bit of finishing look. Of course we'll, we'll cover this in the beginning but really this was just put together by uh, two by twos uh, but I did make sure that we uh, did it in a way that would be supportive of the weight uh, on the top and that was real important obviously um, and when all this was tied together it worked out real well so real happy with that and uh, so you can open the doors here one thing after the fact that it's just a little bit of uh, an issue is this door here uh, does not open quite as wide as I'd like it to that's as far as she goes but it is still wide enough to get things in and out um, and then on this door here uh, for the refrigerator what I did is that's as far as it opens with this door the way it is but I intentionally made this door a little bit short in the width so that I could uh, when, it, when it's open I can flip this up and then just open it past that point and then I can open this much wider there which is nice now I can get my wife actually uh, prefers it to be like that uh, so that she can get into the refrigerator all the way. So just uh, have to pop it back on that, that piece there, drop this back down, and then it just stops right where it's supposed to. Just some of the uh, more finishing details on this. 
a diamond plate. I just bought some uh, extra aluminum uh, to create uh, an edging for that. And uh, then this barn door handle. Uh, and a little decor. Route 66. Of course, this fridge is real important uh, to, to hold a lot of things that, uh, that we need to use that our smaller um, fridge inside doesn't hold because we have a, a, a refrigerator that's a counter depth refrigerator inside and this, uh, this holds a lot of the extra things that we need. So when this is closed and run all the way to the edge, uh, that's where it ends up which gives me a nice clean uh, clean look right there which is uh, what I was going for and I did the edging on these doors uh, with that aluminum as well to kind of give it some continuity um, with the diamond plate and the other uh, aluminum corners here so when we open this slide this all the way over now I can get to the freezer And it opens all the way open there, so that's that's nice uh, to get to the freezer. And there's not much clearance there, so I was uh, really had to play around with uh, the dimensions quite a bit to to get that figured out. But and then back here, uh, same situation with uh, with the freezer, is I do have it on a dolly as well, and uh, I can unlock those. Uh, casters and roll it right out. Then we do a little bit of storage up top. This is mainly just our uh, bags, uh, bags and things that we use uh, from, for the grocery store or uh, for uh, other types of uh, sizes of bags. And then in the back here, uh, I use this storage on this side for or the vacuum cleaner for the garage and it just slides right out like that and that'll that'll come out the same way with the door closed I just have to turn this uh, end like it's like that I have to turn that and then it slides uh, right in place and then back here we just store a few extra chairs step ladder I might uh, come up with some other types of storage for that. There's normally a table right here. That's why this is uh, like that. But that table's being used right now for wrapping Christmas presents. So this uh, helps hold it into place there. So there's usually a table and three or four chairs uh, right there. that's that section Hopefully that helps explain it and of course the earlier portion of the video should show um, how that uh, everything is done as far as uh, prior how the build went now up here you'll notice I have electricity coming in and this is a smart plug so that allows me to turn off the LED lights of course the refrigerator is on continual power, so is the uh, freezer, and uh, but the lights inside and the LED lights are connected uh, to that smart plug. And then we have this area here. So this area of the this area of the garage is really my wife's area. It's storage for the kitchen. Uh, things of that nature. Now this, this garage serves a lot of purposes. It's uh, of course uh, a work area for me. Uh, it's uh, an office. It is a, uh, a shop. It is storage. Uh, it is uh, a man cave I guess. Uh, but it, it serves a lot of purposes and one of those purposes is storage and so uh, happy wife happy life right so I what I did is uh, gave her all this area for storage uh, right here and we'll just take a peek inside here I'll show you what kind of storage is used here 
these new age cabinets really love them. But you can see the, the kind of storage, like uh, for serving and for uh, parties and such. I think this is mainly pet storage here. And more pet storage here. That was like blankets for the pet, for the dog, for Mr. Lucky. How you doing, buddy? And just like on the other side, I did this diamond plate here, and then I did a uh, an LED light behind that to give me light here. We've got the slat board here, and then I added the diamond plate here. And just like on the other side, there is the power strip, and the power strip also has. Uh, USB plugs as well. We do have a little switch here that I built in that I can turn off and turn on that light if I want it off or on. And then this uh, this rolls out. Unlock the feet down here, and this will roll out. And there's a plug in down there as well. And this is just some of her uh, storage for decor. And more decor. And then over here we have more serving uh, things like your hot plate areas, your warmers that type of thing that she uses in the house. And it's right nearby the kitchen and the dining room are right through that door there. So so this is the uh, area that I knew would be fairly easy to cover quickly because of the fact that um, uh, there's really not a whole lot to this area. Of course also uh, the lining, the diamond plate uh, continues to follow all the way around. Uh, if I pulled out all these cabinets, uh, everything, the walls are painted, all of that's completely finished. One thing that kind of bugs me about garages is sometimes how people will just do unfinished areas behind things, um, paint after the fact. So I finished everything first and then and then built everything into it, including the cabinets. The cabinets are all connected together, and then they're also connected to the wall. Uh, these, on this side, I do have the feet attached to them, and that worked out just fine. I had enough length on the feet to be able to allow for the gradual descent of the floor um, uh, that all garages have. And so, um, I just left the feet on all of those. This is areas five and six, five and six. And of course the storage on top, of course that just runs all the way around. And uh, uh, this, there's just a ton up there. A lot of things can be put in these containers. Um, one of the things that someone had mentioned in the comments on, on the other side, wanting to know where I got these. I got them at Lowe's and unfortunately they discontinued them uh, about three quarters of the way through this garage makeover and I had purchased quite a few of them but I still needed like five or six and the different sizes and found out that they had discontinued them. I ended up driving about 50 miles to a Lowe's um, uh, 50 miles away and picked up the last remaining few that I could find to be able to finish out. Um, so I was glad to be able to do that because I like the continuity of those uh, containers. I do like the way that they're made to uh, not just like any other toast, the rounded look. This has more of a square look to them, which I like. So thanks once again for joining me for this garage makeover series in parts five and six. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so that you can get further updates. I'll put more details in the uh, description below of anything that it took to create this portion of the garage. And I look forward to 
you joining me for the next portion, which I'll be jumping back to uh, part three that I skipped over, which is that center area where my computer and all of that is connected to. So I can show you how that's put together. And then we'll get to the last portions, which is the bicycle area and uh, some of the smart features of the garage. So thank you once again. Alexa, garage off. Whenever you have a dream inside your heart, never let it go, because dreams are the tiny seeds from which a beautiful tomorrow grows. Have a wonderful dream tonight. Good night.